Today, we want to illustrate an important concept for the extubation of patients with COVID-19. While there is a very small risk of droplets being generated during tracheal intubation with RSI, there's a greater risk of droplets being generated through coughing during extubation. So for our safety, we must ensure that every effort be made to reduce the risk of contamination. Here, we are proposing a negative pressure barrier we use in clinical practice to help mitigate that risk. That is practical, simple, and affordable. Take a look. Before tracheal extubation, and while the patient is still paralyzed, we cover the patient's head with a clear plastic sheet to collect potential droplets. Our preference for plastic was a clear garbage bag as the patient can still be clearly visualized. To begin, split the seam of one side of the bag. When open, place over the patient's head. The bag naturally falls into a tented position. Cut a small hole at the tip of the tent. With the tube clamped to prevent droplets exhaling from the lungs, disconnect the tube from the ventilator circuit to allow the end of the tube to be inserted through the hole. The bag is then fastened and sealed around the tube with an elastic band or tape before reconnecting it to the circuit. When the patient is fully awake with all reflexes returned, the tape is loosened and the tube cuff is deflated beneath the plastic cover. Extubation is performed with continuous suction at the connector near the filter attached to the tube, slowly lifting the plastic cover off the patient's mouth and face creates a negative pressure like tent. The pliable plastic cover is then closed immediately, wrapping it around the tube, while an assistant immediately covers the patient's face with a tightly fitted mask with filter. Here we use small droplets generated by a nebulizer to demonstrate the principle of containment of droplets using suction through the trachea tube. Although there are limitations to this demonstration, this negative pressure model shows that the risk of small droplet exposure during extubation can be reduced. 